all of these rules that we've been taught since we were young, what if we put them in a little handbag and set them down for a moment? And what happens if you are the great I am? What if the answer is you? Truly, what if you are the answer? If we realize this, we start being the answer. We have been taught in all religions, all walks of life, not to be sinful, to feel all of this sadness and shamefulness because we didn't toe the line, because we didn't do all of these steps, because we didn't mind all of these rules. What if we were all placed in these different situations because highest self put us there? We get to let go of all of these worries of, am I making the right decisions? Am I supposed to live here? Or am I supposed to live there? Um, should I have gotten a degree in this? Or should I just be a stay-at-home mom? Should I do... Let's take a deep breath and realize your highest self has put you in the exact position you are in. Then there's no more chaos. Again and again and again, the ancestors say, everything is being taken care of. It's all being taken care of. Just live and make your decisions from the heart. Everything that you are supposed to achieve, if you live from the heart, you will achieve. So now we can take a deep breath and relax a little bit. Stop beating yourselves up because you are the answer. You want to change something, be the change. The biggest mistake that we have made for hundreds, thousands of years, because we are intelligent beings, because we were given the gift of this mind, we put the mind in charge. This is not how it was supposed to be. Always this spark, the heart was supposed to be in charge. And somehow we lost that. Somehow we put that away and put this in charge. It became intelligence in the service of madness. Truly, our intelligence has become in the service of madness. Pick any year out of the last 200 years, we came a far distance in our intelligence. We have come up with um, all sorts of inventions. We have come up with such intelligent things. Let's just take 1914. A great year. We came up with the combustible engine. We came up with all of these inventions that made our life easier. We also came up with flamethrowers. We came up with machine guns. We came up with submarines. We come up with all ways, all manners in which to kill each other. Where is our intelligence serving us? We have been in the control of intelligence under the control of madness. This is part of the message. We are intelligent beings because we are supposed to use our intelligence with our heart and create something phenomenal. And yet we have thrown it away. Now is the time to change. It is the time to put our intelligence in the service of love. If we start doing this, could you imagine what we can come up with? Even when we are completely disconnected from highest self, because we are intelligent beings, because we've been blessed with this, look at what we can create. We've created many magical and wondrous things. What happens if we put that intelligence under the control of love? Can you imagine for one moment what we could create for one another? It's unthinkable. We could do so many magical things. So now is the time. Stop living from just the mind. Connect it to your heart. Make decisions from the heart. Now what can we create? The possibilities are endless. If we stop using our power to kill each other, to judge one another, even if I sit here and judge you because you do not believe me or, or um, want to follow in what I'm saying, I'm using this and not this. If I believe you are the great I am and I am the great I am, you are free to do as you wish, and so am I, and I love you. 
I love you. This message all by itself can change our planet, can change our entire existence. Start living from the great I am that you are. How do you do this? Live from the heart. This alone can change our existence, all by itself. This is one large message, and a message that will not stop being talked about. This is the message that all of us will move forward in. This is what will give the strength to the rise of a higher consciousness on our planet. This very act of remembering who you are changes your consciousness. And if you remember who you are as the great I am, coming from the heart, and I remember, and we start acting intelligently from this, we change the entire globe. There are a few more, actually a lot more, <laughs> prophecies, information, things that have come, and they are quite intense. Remember, before I say anything else, remember that the main message is, as Don Alejandro says, we are all one people, fingers of the hand. The heart is the palm. We are the fingers. There is nothing to be afraid of. This is the most glorious time on our planet. Rejoice. <laughs> we are here. Our highest selves were so glorious that we got chose to be here. We got chose. We were invited. Some strange thing just didn't go boom and all of a sudden we're here. We got chose because we are the strongest of the strong. Because we are miraculous beings. It is time to rejoice. We got to take part in a ceremony that shifts the planet and the way we live on it, our consciousness, and we got to take part in a consciousness change that connects us to our ancestors, to our beloved ones, to the star beings, to the angels, to God and goddess that we are. What a magnificent thing. I've been given many, many lessons, but they have always been for myself, for me to understand, and then for me to talk about. This was not just for me, it was um, for me to share with the masses, and it, this makes me nervous, and of course I scared myself <laughs> about trying to have, or having to share something that um, is a little bit different, but is absolutely true. Also, this exact message I found out later after receiving it and after ceremony had been given to several of the, the um, wisdom keepers, several of the shamans that were taking, taking part. And I've spoken with grandfather about it too, and he tells me, don't worry, it's all right, <laughs> keep saying it. So I would like to share word for word, and I apologize for reading, but um, I don't want to err in this. On Thursday around 2 o'clock, as I sat in meditation drumming on a sacred drum, something happened that I would like to share with you. As what I received was not only for my ears, but for all of us. A man spoke with great nobility and strength. I am White Feather. I wish to speak of the people from the stars. As I tried to repeat word for word, what I was receiving, my dear friend Jennifer recorded the account. This is the exact account. I am Grandfather Whitefeather. I carry with me the knowledge of Hopi men, women, and those who are still growing. In front of you, the children of Earth, stands a smoky mirror. The smoke keeps you from seeing who you truly are. Time is near for the smoke to be removed. Are you not waiting for the last sign? The children of men have received many signs before, and the prophecy of these signs always came true. 
the first sign given to the ancestors.